everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn a crochet stitch that I found in one of my vintage crochet books and this is called the Crossed Treble Crochet Stitch. Now I have fallen in love with this stitch. It's a very open, very lacy fabric. It's not going to use up a lot of yarn. It's similar on the front as it is on the back. Uh, and once you get going, it's quite quick to work up. I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch in a crochet pattern. You can let me know in the comments below. In this stitch tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of the paint box cotton Aran yarn, and I'm going to be using the color Dolphin Blue. I'm also using a five millimeter crochet hook. You can find both of these links to both of these items in the description of this video. There you will also find the free written uh, and photo tutorial, or at least a link there to it, which can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me today, and uh, while you're here, don't forget to take a look around, check out some of the other videos there, and of course, subscribe. Our stitch today is worked in rows. You're going to start by making a slip knot. and then work a foundation chain and your foundation chain will have to have a multiple of four plus one stitches so today I'm going to chain a total of 21 and 21. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to start uh, by working your first cross treble stitch. And you're going to work that first part into the fifth chain from your hook. So yarn over, count in five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five, and into that fifth chain, insert your hook. Yarn over and drop a loop, then yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to have three loops remaining on your hook. You're then going to yarn over once again, skip the next two chains, and into that next chain insert your hook. Yarn over and draw up a loop. You're now going to work off all loops on your hook. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two more. Next you're going to chain two and now looking at your stitch you will see that there are kind of two horizontal bars here at the very center of your stitch. You're now going to yarn over and work one double crochet through the center of your uh, two cross stitches down here. So just insert your hook through the center of that stitch, yarn over, draw up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's your first crossed treble stitch. The chain here at the beginning will count as one treble crochet. And then you have your first crossed one. You're going to continue working cross stitches all the way across. So to work your next stitch, you're going to yarn over twice, into the next stitch down below on your foundation chain, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, skip the next two chains on your foundation chain, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to work off all of the loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to chain two, and we're going to complete our X by working back into the center of our cross stitches down below there. I'll work a double crochet, so yarn over, 
insert your hook just under those two loops there yarn over draw up a loop and complete your double crochet you have a second cross stitch made you're going to continue that all the way across I'll show you one more time so yarn over twice into the next stitch on your foundation chain insert your hook and draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops three loops on your hook yarn over skip the next two chains in your foundation chain insert your hook through that next chain yarn over and draw up a loop you're now going to work off all the loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops four times until you have one loop remaining chain two and now double crochet back into the center of your crossed stitch and that's the third one made so continue working those stitches all the way across your foundation chain I'm going to work one more here which will bring me to the end when you work your final crossed stitch you will have one chain remaining and into that final chain you're going to work one treble stitch yarn over twice insert your hook into that final chain yarn over pull through two three times and that brings you to the end of your first row of cross treble stitches for row two you're going to chain four turn your work and begin once again to work your cross trebles this time you'll be working them into the tops of the stitches down below so yarn over twice insert your hook into that next stitch yarn over drop a loop yarn over pull through two you can skip the chain space in between yarn over insert your hook into the top of the next post of uh, your cross stitch yarn over pull through two work all the loops off your hook chain two double crochet back into the center of that cross stitch and you've completed that stitch you can repeat that all the way across just as you did down below and when you come to that final stitch you'll work a treble stitch into the top of that chain four I'm just working my final treble into the top of my chain four chain four turn your work and that's all there is to working this cross treble stitch so you can continue to work as many rows as you would like and uh, you're simply going to repeat that last row so thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe take a look around and I look forward to seeing you again next week until then happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.